I uh, knew for quite some time now that I've been, you know, connected into the energies in some form. And more recently in the last five years, and even more so in the last few months with what's going on in the world. And these last few months have really brought my awareness back to how much I've I was actually connected into the energies even as a small child. So I, I love what's happening in our world on one in one sense right now. Um, what happened this morning is that I was awoken by the sounds of these incredible birds, these small birds. And then I saw a post about some turkeys on one of the pages on Facebook that I'm on. And I love that because it was all about flight as well as being very grounded. And then... I looked out my window and there was literally nine little quail out there in a pack. So beautiful. And then one of them was leading off. And I love that because it, it was indicated to me about he, how each one of us practitioners, each one of us healing facilitators, each one of us light workers and, and way showers are leading everybody through so much right now and that it's because of the way that we are stepping into this energy that we're helping everybody else then these beautiful quail split off into pairs and I just love the balance of that and uh, um, with that a couple other things have happened for me more recently and white buffalo calf woman has started to channel through me and what an experience that is uh, first of all, I love that it's white buffalo because, again, here we are working with the energy of animals on this benefit. And take the time to share out this video, please, to your pages, to your groups, so that other people are hearing the message that's coming out. Today I'm going to be doing an activation with our hands and working with giraffe energy. Giraffes have been on the uh, uh, nearing extinction list since 2019. And that's alarming to think that all we'll be able to see them is in zoos. So feel into the energy of all of the animals on Earth right now and Mother Gaia. I also wanted to, to bring your attention to the fact that uh, when I was working with, I, I work with white buffalo calf woman every single day right now. And this morning she, she it was almost as though my head, the crown chakra, was this beautiful area that was... Um, what's the word I'm looking for that was uh, for, for, for burning sage I'm in my travel trailer and we've been driving around and experiencing um, North America the western side of North America North America for 10 months now and it's just been an incredible incredible journey I've misplaced my matches or I'd light my candle on here so um, I love how, how nature how nature just literally gives us so much and we really need to step up and help protect her. So I also wanted to mention that what white buffalo calf woman was showing me this morning uh, after doing the sage ceremony, she was showing me this ancient book. Like I literally saw the cover and it was from the edge of it and it was so beautiful. And it was symbolic of all of this beautiful energy that's coming through in the guidebooks that we have with all of our tarot and oracle cards that this wisdom that we're hearing through these guidebooks is ancient wisdom that's coming through and that all of the things that are coming through all of us are ancient wisdom I just want to show you guys my my beautiful altar that I've set up for today as well um, the incredible chakra uh, uh, banner I have my shaman staff behind me I have this beautiful altar set up with some things that mean a lot to me this is my dad's energy here um, I love the wizard energy that comes through from the, our gatekeepers. We have the sea is represented. I have my water in a water bottle beside me. There's flight represented and so much earth and grounding energy as well as uh, abundance is on here as well. So just feeling into the energy of all of that and, um, and really take a breath. Take a breath into that, okay? So what I'd love to do with you today is to... As I mentioned, do a hand activation as well as stepping into the energy of giraffe and using that, um, not using that, but joining with the energy power, the energy of uh, the giraffe energy so that we can empower and help to heal Mother Earth. Everybody take a drink of water right now though, please. Ah, beautiful. 
that actually helps the flow of energy. And, and comically enough, as I was setting up my altar and, and listening to beautiful uh, uh, Florentine with her thing, I was actually directed, and this is comical, I, never has this happened before, I was actually directed to bring out and put on my computer this piece of uh, whole grain bread. <laughs> so we give thanks. We give thanks uh, for so much today. We truly do it. And stepping into the energy of giving thanks, okay? So what I'd love for you to do is to take a breath. My eyes are going to be closed for a lot of this because that's how I see in the dark and I see beautifully in the dark and I'm guided through the dark as I invite you as well to close your eyes and see in the dark and feel the energy of the dark. So with that in mind, taking a beautiful breath, inhaling in and exhaling however you want to. Drawing in the energies and the elements of the east, the wind, Drawing in the energies of the south and the elements as well of fire. Drawing in the energies and the elements of the west and water. The energies and the elements of the north and the earth. Also the indigenous colors of black, white, yellow, and red. And feeling the energy of those colors, those elemental colors, coming in to help with abundance for Mother Earth as well as for each of us. Calling in the energy within yourself and without yourself. And asking for your mind, body, and soul to do what it needs to do to be healed at this time. Connecting with your higher self. And feel the beautiful image that your higher self is presenting. And truly it is as simple as saying, I would like to connect with my higher self. Connecting in with your little you. I would like to connect with my little you. Feel the joy that's coming through with your little you. Beautiful. And let's start on this incredible journey by bringing your awareness to your hands. And that awareness in your hands, what I'd like you to do with that is to gently rub your hands together. There we go. Very gently rub your hands together. You can almost hear them. And then pull them just slightly apart, maybe a half an inch or an inch. And feel the energy that's flowing in your hands. Beautiful. Now pull those hands apart just a little bit as you draw energy from all of the energy that is around you. Feel how it's coming through you, through your heart space, through the crown chakra, through your feet from the Mother Earth and into your hands. Allow that to grow to baseball size. beautiful and I am going to start a beautiful chain of passing my ball to the next person in line beside me here and add your energy to that ball and pass it on to the next person and feel that beautiful energy so that at the end of this time this space that we are in together when it is passed back to you, feel 
the joy, the love, the energy that is within this incredible ball of energy. And so I pass it to you to pass it on with your energy added to it. And just continue to add it as you pass. And now we begin this beautiful journey. And it feels as though we are on this beautiful plane. The words Africa and Serengeti come up. And it is, it is almost interesting how my human ego steps in and goes, is that the correct location? Are those the correct words? And my guides step in and say, it matters not what your human ego thinks. This is where we start our journey. So imagine, if you will, this beautiful plane of energy. This field in front of you. See the grasses in the distance, a tall tree, and feel the energy of being a part of that incredible plane. Feel the magic of the speed at your feet as you become like the cheetah running over the grass searching, looking, going to all corners. And finally, finally, in the distance, we see a giraffe. And as we run towards that giraffe, this beautiful language flows between us and the giraffe. And we slow our pace to approach this majestic creature. And we stand at a distance from it, a respectable space, asking this beautiful giraffe if we are able to enter its space for the highest good and for the most benevolent reasons. And as it bows its gentle neck and head, allowing us to enter that space, we shift back into this beautiful human form, this energetic body. And although this draft is so very, very tall, we sit in reverence to its energy before it. And as you take a look at the hooves and the long slender legs, feel how connected giraffe is with Mother Earth. How these beautiful hooves and their shape grace Mother Earth's soil. Feel that same energy coming up through your body. Feel your vibration raise to meet elephant's energy.
two incredible creatures. One in its weight and the other in its height. Feel how grounded you are in this moment. Continue to look up at the beautiful chest and body of giraffe. Notice the pattern on the giraffe before you. The size of its beautiful colored splotches. That these are like the islands of energy. And how this beautiful lighter color of the giraffe connects all of that. Just like we are connected to each other in the collective energy of the divine source. Continue to follow that beautiful line up giraffe's neck as we reach the giraffe's head and the beautiful shape of that giraffe's head. The way it points the direction with its slender face. The way its ears and possible horns, because some giraffes, the males, have these beautiful other protrusions. How it is reaching for the stars. Tapping into the energy of those galactic beings that are far, far above us, yet so very connected in with all of our energy. And as you are there, bring yourself to stand in front of the giraffe and placing a hand on that beautiful giraffe's chest. Feel its heartbeat. Place your hand on your own chest and feel your heartbeat answering. And as you are there feeling into the energy, placing your hands in a place of comfort for yourself right at this time. Notice that the giraffe's feet are starting to move a little bit further apart and further apart yet again. That this giraffe is now of feminine energy. Behold the incredible miracle that you are about to witness in the birth of a baby giraffe. First seeing a beautiful hoof and the snout of this young one. possibly in a covering of the sack of embiotic fluids. And lending this beautiful energy that we are collecting from the col energy all around, from the divine source and from Mother Earth, as we pave the way for this birth, for this baby giraffe, that we accept it with love, and joy. Feel the energy of that beautiful young one sliding out naturally and onto Mother Earth. And Mother Earth embraces this beautiful young one. 
and how its hoof pierces that sack of fluid and how it works its way out. Feel the energy of that new life being born. Even as we stand in awe of how it drops onto Mother Earth and yet has the strength to break its way free, just like we have the strength to break our way free of limiting beliefs, of old habits. Feel how you are in accordance with this energy. Watch as that baby giraffe struggles to stand, how it brings its front feet up, 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 raising that beautiful upper body and how that back end almost looks as though it doesn't work. And then watch as its back legs gain that foothold on Mother Earth. Feel the energy as it rises up and totters and teeters as it gains its bearings. Feel the joy of watching that beautiful giraffe, that calf, stand for the first time and how the mother nurtures it. The cleansing happens quickly and Mother Giraffe looks to you and asks you to come and give a blessing hands on with this baby giraffe, this beautiful baby giraffe. Approach this asking the baby giraffe as well if it is okay to enter its space, its sacred space. And look into its gorgeous eyes as it looks at you with complete trust. And place your hand on that baby giraffe and feel the joy of new life. That incredible energy ball that we were passing around sits now very powerfully in the other hand that is free of the giraffe. Feel the beauty of the giraffe calf with one hand and the energy of the ball in your other hand. It is huge and yet so very light. Offer this beautiful ball of energy to this giraffe calf. And feel how this beautiful ball of energy grows even bigger so that it is encompassing this baby giraffe as it steps into this beautiful energy. And as it steps into this beautiful energy, know how absolutely connected it is with all species on Earth that are in danger of being extinct. That this time of peace, that this time of this Earth shift is empowering these species and feel that as this giraffe calf stands within this beautiful ball of energy and you can witness other species in there bees rhinoceroses 
and so many more. Whether you can see them, feel them, or whether it's just an all-knowing. Take a moment to breathe in and add your gratitude and love from your heart into this energy as well. And feel how that beautiful ball of energy is growing larger and larger. And that it is actually starting to expand out across this entire plane. How it's encompassing all of the animals, all of the creatures, big or small. And by creatures, human, reptiles, avian, small creatures like bugs, all everything, all the way down to a microscopic level and further, that all of these serve a place. Feeling into the beautiful energy as it continues to flow through the waters of Africa as well. <laughs> and that this energy is continuing to flow to the neighboring content, con continents. that this is positively affecting everything, that it is empowering the beauty, the magic in subconscious and conscious ways, that this is going to a very, very deep, deep level through every dimension, every realm, every lifetime, every lifeline, past, present, and future, beginning, middle, and end into infinity and beyond, through the me, myself, and I, through the higher selves, the physical bodies, and the little yous, into the DNA, RNA, all the way down to the molecular levels, all the way back to the master bodies all the way back to the origins of our energies. Going into the multiverses, the galactic ways, feel the spread of this incredible energy, the connection into the divine. Stepping into the I remember. Tapping into the energy of I remember. Feeling that beautiful knowledge and wisdom. That sense of all-knowing coming back into your heart space, coming back into your hands, feeling the power of that all-knowing in the energy of your hands. Placing your hands together again, standing before that beautiful giraffe, and now that giraffe family, that giraffe herd, Feeling into the energy of abundance. That 
and feeling that beautiful energy of that elephant, of its young ones, of its family, of its herd. And tapping into giraffe wisdom and elephant wisdom. Feeling the flow of information coming through these beautiful portals to you. And you are taking that in with ease and grace for the highest good and for the most benevolent reasons. Take a moment to give thanks to that elephant energy, that beautiful grounding energy of elephant. Feel the trumpet of its call, the vibration of the energy of its call. Give thanks to giraffe for that connection to the divine source. And give thanks for the beauty, the miracle we witnessed in the birth of that baby giraffe. And know that these animals walk with you always, all space, in every contingent. Feel where they stand with you. And know that there is room for them to stand there. If you have had other guides standing in those same places, that there is so much room beside you for these. Hmm. Feel the power of the three of you, that beautiful magic number, the three, that me, myself, and I, that little you, physical body, and higher self, elephant, you, and giraffe. And now with that beautiful energy that you can feel flowing all across the world and through this energy, it is also flowing out to the multiverses from our universe. And we are ex accepting this beautiful abundance of love coming from the galactic skies, from these multiverses, it is flowing down into our universe through our sun, 
through our moon, through our stars. Feeling into the beautiful love that is coming in abundance back to you. Feel how it is flowing over your entire physical being, over your entire energetic being. How it is soaking in And as we have given, we are receiving. Stand in the awareness of the giving and the receiving. In that the asking we are given. And in that asking, I ask for the awareness of this entire planet to be shifted again up towards the all-encompassing I remember. And I'm going to ask white buffalo calf woman if she has anything she would like to offer. We are here with you. You do us a great service by stepping in and doing the work like this. This benefit, this Earth Day, is a powerful transition. It is a powerful activation. It is a powerful 24 hours plus that will continue to move this energy forward at lightning speed. For those light workers, way showers, and those who are ready to step into this in a powerful way. We bring this to you. We bring this for you. We empower you with this. Accept this power into your soul. This is who you are. You are the light. You are the light. You are the light. Over the plains, the fields, the forest, the mountains, the oceans, through it all, through you, because of you, you are one.
we are one. Open. With no expectations. No limitations. And being okay with the outcome. I am love. I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable. I love me. I love you. We are divine love. We are empowered. And so it is. Wow. Thank you so very much for participating in that. That went so many places and I love how Elephant joined us as well. What a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. Thank you to each of you for being here to do that, to participate, to connect in with your energy, to bring in the beautiful energies of all that is coming around us. Um, continue to bask in that energy because that energy is who you are at the core of who you are. Feel into the magic of that. Believe that because it is so. It truly is so. I am, therefore it is. Please take a drink of water and allow this energy to flow. Wow. <clears throat> that beautiful phrase, I remember, is a phrase that came to me yesterday in a reading that I did with two close friends that is so powerful because it was in that moment when I read the words I remember that I truly stepped into the energy of that all-knowing, that energy of, of that sense of being, that energy of connectedness, and that energy of, of like so truly remembering what my role is here, what each of our roles are here, that the things that we learn, the things, the experiences that we're having, especially right now, are triggering us so that we can look within ourselves, so that I can look within me, so that you can look within you, and begin to discover these new sides of ourselves, these shiny pieces that we are collecting back in the energy as these triggers come up within ourselves. We're collecting all of these pieces back. I've been doing this incredible star set work since the beginning of this year and every day I connect into the energy of this. Last night I laid here and my husband is literally 
1,100 kilometers away from me right now. That's a roughly um, 600, 700 miles away from me right now. And yet, as I laid here last night as a star, I felt him where he was as a star. And this beautiful path of stars that were between the two of us connecting that energy. And I feel that with every one of you. I feel this beautiful star image that you are, this beautiful light image that you are. And it brings up so much ecstatic energy in myself when I feel this energy. And then I feel this connection of all these stars that are linking us. And it's so powerful. I recently uh, got this incredible deck of cards, the Starseed Oracles. And I'm going to do a reading, first of all, for the group. And then I'll pull a card as well for Mother Earth in this time that we have left. So I shuffled this and, and all this beautiful giraffe and elephant energy and all this star energy, all of our energy, all of Mother Earth and Divine Source's energy goes through these cards and to each one of us. Wow. <laughs> um, so this card is called Lifting the Veil. This morning, um, it was so interesting how white buffalo calf woman showed me that book and how all this wisdom energy, wisdom knowledge, old ancient knowledge is in these books, these guidebooks that are with our decks. And it was Lifting the Veil to show me this. And here is this beautiful card, lifting the veil. The energy of that is so incredible. <clears throat> it is questioning everything and anything unaligned must go. There is the beauty of that card. It is so magical. Lifting the veil. <clears throat> I want to read the words from the book for you so that you have a, a much clearer idea of what this lifting the veil is. Things aren't always as they seem, and that's so true right now in this time. This era is one of uncovering mistruths so we can remember ancient truths. Everything is in a state of recall and realignment. Anything that isn't in harmony with the planet will not survive. This goes for society and the world at large, as well as in our own lives. If you pull this card, you are being called to energetically scan your life for things that may no longer be a vibrational match for who you are and how you've grown. To dismantle the systems and ways of being that once served you and others, but no longer do. Some starseeds are here to lift the veil between the seen and unseen worlds to shine a light on things that are inauthentic and unaligned with the survival and well-being of Earth, to stand for and protect those who don't have a voice, to look deeper and question everything that previous generations did not. Some starseeds cannot tolerate things that aren't congruent. They're here to bring society and humanity back into harmony with the planet and the Creator at large. If we tolerate things in our life that aren't aligned and congruent with it, we add to the misalignment of the planet. You're being called to trust yourself. Notice what's out of alignment and then take the baby steps required to bring it back into harmony. This is no easy feat, but it's so worthwhile, both individually and for the planet. Wow. So I just want to read this one uh, sentence again. Two sentences. Some star seeds cannot tolerate things that aren't congruent. They're here to bring society and humanity back into harmony with the planet and the Creator at large. If we tolerate things in our life that aren't aligned and congruent with it, we add to the misalignment of the planet. So stepping into this beautiful transformation energy and really feeling how you are growing, evolving with this that's going on right now. And so that is the lifting of the veil. 
So that was a card for the group. I'm also going to pull a card specifically for Mother Earth. Star Brothers. I love that. <laughs> um, we're on a star. There's the, like We tap into the energy of all these stars. And I just love how everything keeps aligning, especially on um, my awareness field, with stars. So start to recognize that. I know that um, Jennifer's on here listening. She did something with star energy yesterday uh, on her reading for me. And the stars keep coming up. There's a reason why stars keep coming up. We are on a star. It's star brothers. Feel that. Um, it's a brotherhood. It's an alignment. It's a connection. Horus energy. That's H-O-R-U-S. Horus energy. Protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. And um, just like my day started, look at that. There are birds on there. And here we are, and we're this beautiful star energy. And I'm going to read from the book for, for that as well, because it's just so powerful. And we, we want to step into the energy of what the Star Brothers means. <clears throat> You're more... Pro pro Let me start again. <laughs> You're more protected than you can imagine. It's safe to open the back of your heart. You're being called to be open to receiving a new level of support now from those in your life and from the benevolent beings you're connected with. Through ancestral patterning, current life traumas, and past life karmic impressions, many of us have become mistrustful and suspicious of loyalty and have blocks when it comes to receiving support. We've learned that we need to go at life alone. That is not safe. Oh, sorry. That it's not safe to let our guard down and our heart open. That the world isn't a friendly place. The Star Brothers want you to have a new experience of life on Earth. They want you to feel deeply secure and safe, even if you're going through a difficult time. They want you to hand over your fears to them, to see them as opportunities to let in more love, they're guiding you to stay open to receiving a greater level of support than you can ever imagine, both in this world and beyond, to call in your team of loyal protectors and supporters, both physically and energetically. They want you to learn to soften through life's ups and downs and to learn to open your heart, especially when it most, when it's most wants to harden. So, so very powerful. So the question with that is, and I leave you with that, how can you open yourself up to receiving more support? Very, very powerful. Very powerful. And what isn't congruent in your life? And how are you being called to bring it back into harmony? So I, again, really want to step into a beautiful state of awareness of all that's transpired in this time that I've spent with you. It has been so incredibly magical. Thank you. Um, continue to step into the magic of all that. Thank you so much for being here. It has truly been a blessing on so many levels. And I am so honored to be part of this tribe. Thank you. <laughs>